Um, hello, everybody. I just, you know, I mean, I'm not exactly going to be able to post this weekend. Um, kind of wanted to get Digital Life, maybe. But, you know, it didn't happen. I finale was this, this uh, weekend. So, the final episode will just be like session 3, 4, 5, and 6 in like 1. Um, yeah. Uh, I think I'm just going to, I'm going to do a little tour today on the Hardcore World because... Well, I mean, you guys never really saw the last bits of footage. You know, I did a lot of stuff. You can see if I have an Elytra, which was not in the... Actually, it might have been in the last episode that I posted. Yeah, I was. Never mind. I'm in, okay. But anyway, you know, I got I got a lot of stuff, you know, that I didn't show. So, we're just going to go through a tour of everything we've done in this world. Uh, I think the first thing I just want to go to is this stuff over here. You know, we got the Iron Farm, which I'm pretty sure it still works. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it still works. This thing has served me well. I mean, it got me, got me that max top beacon over there. You know, it, it served me well. Okay, well, I, apparently I can't get up there. Um, and then we have right here. This is actually I had one of my friends um join, and uh, this is his house. I let him join for a little bit, and yeah, this is his house. Also, he did die a few times, but. I didn't count them since this is my world. And I was just having him as a guest. I just decided to let him respawn, you know, because I just I just wanted to have him on the world, but his deaths don't really count toward anything. And uh, yeah, he was a little bit poor, <laughs> um, because you know we didn't get much time. Um, and then if we over here, we had to do our you know fully maxed out beacon that I just talked about. Then we have the pumpkin and melon farm. Honestly, I mean you just can't see this pumps. It's not the most efficient farm ever, but, you know, if I if I layered it up a little bit more, it would have been better, but it, it's fine. Because, you know, it served me well while, while it lasted. This, th this is, this is an abomination of a farm. It literally produces nothing. It's the slowest thing I've ever used. Honestly, manually harvesting shuriken is so much more worth it. Like, yeah, it takes time, but, like, unless you're really going to build a big scale farm, it's not even worth it to make an automatic one. And obviously I was not very uh, invested in making an automatic one. Then we got our nether war. Honestly I just had this growing around in the background. I don't think I ever ended up using it, but um yeah, I was kind of just growing around in the background. And then we got this right here, which is our uh zombie farm. Honestly, after I built the Enderman farm there was really no need to use this farm. So it kind of gotten thrown on the back burner, and you know I never really used it again after I built the Enderman farm. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then we got our sheep farm over here. You know, our sheep, our sheep. Oh my gosh, I've not checked this thing in forever. <laughs> I've not checked this thing in way too long. I didn't even know it was. I didn't even know I'd gotten that much. Okay, well, uh, that was a surprise. Honestly, I just I guess I didn't check it enough. You know. That was a lot. And then we got our villagers down here. Now this was just going to be the breeder, but then I just got too lazy in my uh, farm in there. My uh, actual like trading hall didn't hold enough. So there's like a bunch, just a bunch of librarians in there. We got a soap touch guy, looting three, uh, unbreaking two, efficiency four. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't go like more full like to actually get the max size. It's really because of what I had on the enchantments at the time. Yeah, this is, this sharpness five one's like the, dang, that is cheap, bro. That's like really the only thing that I really spent time maxing out. And this guy could give me light blue wool. I actually kind of like light, I like light blue wool a lot. But then this is our actual haul. You know, we got our guy that bought golden carrots from. This guy, you know, we kind of just used these other farmers for like trading. You know, the, he, the, we, he wasn't maxed up that out that much. This guy also could buy be bought. Or you could also buy golden carrots from him. This one, just another trader. And that one, another trader as well. And then we got this guy that was our mending book, and he also had loyalty three. But you know, I only ended up using the mending. You know, I had like I had everything maxed out. I don't know if I don't, I don't really know what parts I was able to get to because I don't exactly remember what footage I didn't didn't edit. But yeah, I maxed out my armor. I got these armor trims on it. You know, the gold armor trim was just you know it's just I, I just thought it was pretty cool, and it was really the only armor trim I had. And gold looks best with netherite or diamond. Looks best with netherite, but I decided to use gold because I don't know waste my diamonds, I didn't really have that much diamonds at the time. And this guy, this is, this is probably one of the biggest jokes I've ever seen, like, 
Bro, man, my man literally sells me Fortune 2. I used it on Fortune 2. Then I upgrade him and he's got Fortune 3. Like, that is so annoying. Like, you just, oh my gosh. Then we got this guy, you know, cartographers that just sold paper. Mainly glass, because sugar cane farm is trash. Uh, but, I, but before I made it, before I made it on Mac, it's pretty good. Then we got this guy, you know, I, I mainly just sold iron to these guys. I didn't really actually use them. Because by the time I got my villager trading, I already, I already had, like, diamond armor. So, you know, I didn't really need to. I, did, I really just sold them iron. And that's really, that's really it for this villager trading hall. You know, it was, it was very useful. You know, I really enjoy, I, this, this tour is actually kind of fun. Because I just get to go through all these things and just, I'm going to just talk unfiltered, you know. It's not like comment, you know, editing and all that. Then we got our enchantment table. Man, this thing, you know, it helped me. Help me get all this stuff. Jeez, you can put so many enchantments on a sword. Goodness gracious. Then we got one of the more recent farms. Honestly, this one was very useful. Like, oh my gosh, these farms are just... I don't know how I let them get so overrun. I guess it was while I was working on another project. We're not going to talk about whatever that is over there. I'm going to go I'm gonna go to that later. I'm going to go to that later. I should probably go through my inventory first. I mean, I got, you know, maxed out. I have totems. I mean, I, oops. Don't really need to place that in that extra ender chest. Um, you know, I have, uh, this one I have ender poles in. For my enderman farm. And this one I have, like, oh my gosh, why do I have so many totems? Goodness gracious. And then I have, like, all my food in here. I guess I can just, you know, restore. Wow, we got one golden carrot left. Um, and then we got gunpowder. Honestly, like, rockets were so annoying to make just because the sugarcane, like, the, we had, we built, like, a gunpowder farm over there. So that was not a problem. And then we got that. I don't even know what. Honestly, I didn't really get to, like, a lot of, like, this kind of sorting stuff, you know, in the ender chest and all that. I don't know how I got that, like, let that get so overrun. Honestly, the nether, I didn't do much in the nether. I didn't build anything. I mean, I just had, like, stuff. Like, it was just for getting my netherite. And yeah, that's about it. And then, one thing I need to talk about, I haven't talked about my house, and I haven't talked about this wall here. Yeah, this is... This wall is pretty recent. Yeah, now we're gonna go in my house. Tiger's house. And you got our, you know, our dragon egg and dragon. Uh, honestly, this farm, I haven't used this farm in forever. You know. And then we got our jukebox. Oh. Okay, honestly, I can't hear it. I don't want to get copyrighted. This, with a video that I'm literally not even adding music to. Um. I guess I'll just put that in my inventory and worry about that later. You know, we got our bed. Got our chests. Honestly, I don't know. I just kept some redstone components in here. And then I didn't have any items that needed to be smelted. My coal. Yeah, I was completely out of coal. Um, or maybe I just didn't put it in here. Honestly, I don't know. Got our anvil. That's probably like the third anvil I've been through. But yeah, we do have coal. I just didn't want to use it. You know, whatever. Got our rocks. You know, got our ores that, you know. Because now, now we have a, quite a bit of iron and gold and diamonds and stuff. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't use a lot of redstone. Goodness. And then we got like a bunch of all our mob drops, you know, the gunpowder. I mainly keep that in my uh, ender chest in the, in the shulker boxes, so didn't have a lot of that. I mean, I threw like so many pearls away, I didn't really need to need them. This is like the building materials, you know, the wood. Um, you know, just stuff that didn't really have a sorting place. And then this, goodness, yeah. I have one sugar cane. Like, I just kept it in here so I know that that's what the sugar cane is. And I have a lot of apples. Jeez, I guess I bought those. And then we got a nature, you know, that kind of stuff. Got all our, like, gear and stuff. And our nether. Goodness, so much netherrack. And, yeah. That's that's really about it for the house. Oh, yeah, and this boat. This is, like, my window. Like, this, you can just look out the window like this. And it also exit kicks you outside. Okay. Anyway. And I'm going to walk so I don't um accidentally expose what that hole is. I'm sure a few of you could probably guess, but, you know, I'm not just going to go over there and just tell you, oh, yeah, you're right. And, yeah, I took a lot of mob drops out of this chest, and the sorting, like, the organizing of this was a little weird, if I'm being completely honest. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't fully understand. But now, we're going not to that hole. We're, we're going to go that hole, show that hole for last. But I'm going to go to my Enderman farm, because I'm going to go to the end, you know. I had my Enderman farm in there, and I do actually remember where the end portal is, because I've, I've been to it a, a few times, so, you know, every time I have to go repair my gear, you know, honestly, my gear's kind of in top condition right now, it's not really, 
I don't really need repairing. Yeah, that's just a random rune portal I found. Like I said, I don't really know what footage I did show and didn't show, but, you know, I got all this stuff. This is all the stuff that I've ended up with. You know, obviously I could say that I have diamond armor. I'm sure I've been to this, but I'm going to go to it anyway because I'm an idiot. And actually, honestly, I can't really tell because I, I would, like, I'm, I'm at the point where, honestly, I wouldn't have taken that anyway. But let's be real, I probably wouldn't have taken it even if it was at the beginning because it's dookie. I was like a terrible rooting portal. And then the end portal, you know, I always remember this kind of place that I like mined out sand, I think. And then you just go over a little bit more and you see this random, uh, random wood thing, you know. And then there's like water in here. I don't know if it would have been faster to swim around, but it doesn't matter. And then we got another portal in here because I had to go get more eyes of Ender, I think. And this stuff... Still, has not despawned because I've literally, like, I just, immediately when I get here, I just hop in the portal. It's actually kind of funny. And there's the end gate we went to, end gateway we went to, and then there, here is the Enderman farm. You know, this is probably one of the most, the best Enderman farms that's so simple that I've ever seen. I mean, and it, it's really efficient. Like, it's not, like, slow. It's, it's great. I mean, you know. Honestly, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, though, because, you know, I could demonstrate about how it runs, but I think everybody knows how it runs just by looking at it, and yes, unless you're, like, just don't play Minecraft enough, and, okay, there we go. It's my time, okay, so we can, oops, lag. Anyway, we can go to sleep. Um, you know, I, this is just kind of just a fun video for people who actually care. You know, those people who are just looking for some good content to watch, this is not for you. It's just for the people who actually care about, you know, seeing all this stuff. Honestly, I think this this is like all the, you know, all the stuff I need to show, I'm pretty sure. Put the nether warp, I'm put the nether warp back in there, and then I'm also gonna... But I'm actually gonna, just gonna leave so I don't get copyrighted. And now... I'm gonna do that so I can actually, like, eat this last carrot, because it's kind of annoying me that it's just, like, sitting there. Come on. Be hungry. Okay, there we go. Now, yeah. Moment of truth. This was like one of my biggest projects ever. Was mining out an entire chunk. Which I didn't even finish doing that. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be in the last like video. Or, you know, I actually had planned to keep keep making episodes when I started making it, mining out this chunk. But obviously, it never happened. So, yeah. Maybe mined out a good bit of it, but, you know, there's still, still more to mine. And I don't know if I'm ever going to finish this. If you want to see me guys stream on my second channel, I'll stream me like mining out the chunk, then, you know, tell me in the comments. And honestly, this is, you know, it's basically the end of the tour. I mean, you know, we, there's not, I mean, it shows how little I've done, but at the same time, I go, this is a, like a, literally, okay, hold on, I just hit Y, I'm trying to look at tab, okay. Go to F3. This is literally 248. This is nearly 250 days that. I've played this world. Like, you know, it's it doesn't seem like a lot, but in this um, span of time, it's a lot, you know? And I mean, in that last, like, hardcore video, I mean, it would have basically been me, like, playing around with a friend, the friend that I let on, and then, like, mining out the chunk. Like, it, there wasn't much to that last segment, even though it was, like, of, like, seven hours of footage or something. You know, a lot of it was mining out the chunk, because this took forever like I spent forever doing this and I literally was like on for like multiple recordings for literally just me mining out the chunk and if I got bored I just literally went to do something and then you know one of the one of them was when I was on with the um the friend uh and, you know we were just doing stuff I don't know I was trying to get him geared up and I didn't really get much done I don't think and honestly I would spend a lot of times just going into the trading hall and like trading like it wasn't it's kind of a normal routine really but honestly, this is my hardcore world. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about the raid farm, y'all. Uh, yeah. We're just not even going to talk about this. It was kind of one of those things that you... You know, you start on, and then it kind of just becomes an, something that's just not even that useful. Because honestly, I, I never pop totems in this world. Like, I, it's been a while since I popped a totem. I think really the only times I actually popped totems were... That moment, I don't, I'm pretty sure that was in the video. 
where I like fell in lava and I was like mining or something or mining netherite and I popped. And then the only other times that I would have popped were when I was like playing around or when I was actually fighting the raid. So I mean, you know, I don't I don't pop a lot, so I still have like a ton of totems and like the uh, totem shulker, you know, I still have seven totems. Which is like probably like two raids worth or something. So yeah, honestly, this is this is the end of the video. I think this is gonna be the end of the video. You know, we've done a lot of stuff in this world, you know. It's just simple it's just simple, you know. And I know somewhere over here I fought the wither. There's like just you can you can just like walk down here and there'll just be like a random hole or something. And I literally just Yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to find it. Oh what was it? I feel like it was farther over, but it doesn't really matter. Honestly, this is all of it, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Now I actually have to see the footage of me going to this. Bye guys.